to another video this one is I call it my w most war fragrances in my collection let's get into it what's up guys so welcome to my top five most worn fragrances Actually, that's a tough five. The top five fragrances I've worn. Yeah, so let's get into it. So, number five will go to the god, they call this the goddess of love. And I, I, I can see why they call it the goddess of love. It is a purpose, but this is none other than Versace Arrows. With the Medusa's head on this fragrance, it makes sense because it just it, it hypnotizes. It's a minty fresh fragrance. Um, this is definitely for those machos that love, love, love the ladies. Technically, it's, it's more of a youthful fragrance in my opinion but if you still have it like as is as if you still go out and party and you haven't get up that lifestyle if you're like a P. Diddy type person then this fragrance still suits you it's a powerhouse that's what I could describe is it brings it absolutely brings it and I absolutely love it next fragrance the next fragrance is it's one my best I mean I, I absolutely adore this fragrance it's usually it's what I sprayed on this this actual uh, this uh, sweater or jacket or both it could be both anyway it's none other than Tez Amez Tez Amez is very classy manly sexy the, what it's it's a orangey dirty earthy smell that you get from this it says this this fragrance says i'm a man and i love being outside doing outside manly activity things that's what you get from this i absolutely enjoy wearing this first time i wore this wasn't in love with it it grew on me it had like blossom a bit until Got to a point that damn, this is what a man supposed to smell like, like all the time. If you get bored, you can switch it up. But this is this is sensual worthy. You could wear this in a suit. You could wear this everything. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So number three on the list. Number three is going to go to Dolce Cabana. Or oh, this is the non-sticker one. This is reformulated one. This is even though it, it really doesn't last long. It doesn't last long. I didn't didn't hear. I, I picked this up in Century Twenty One, Twenty One Century, one or the other. I picked this up. There, because I fell in love with the scent. Didn't try out the performance. It was just, it was cheap and it smelled like soap. It smells like, it doesn't smell like anything I own. So, it, oh, and it was cheap. So, I didn't know there was, there, this was a reformulated version of the original one. The original one, the performance, the longevity. The quality is much, much better. But the reason why it's a large dent is because I, I use it around the house only. Around the house. And it literally, what says, what it says to me is that I use, like, I use soap when I wash. Basically, it's pretty much you shower, you apply soap, and you don't even 
the side to rinse at all. That's what you will smell like. You smell like pure soap. And this is a, it's a great way to actually tell someone that you showered when you redid it, that you were too lazy or you didn't feel like it or whatever the reason was that you didn't shower. Boom, that's your solution. Just don't wear it outside because the the wind will kick its ass. And once it kicks its ass, then the whole stinking stinking that you been smelling the whole entire day is going to show it's going to let people know that you're a liar and you don't really shower but yeah that's number three number two number two i talked about it in my last video is the dry sheet fragrance of the game individual individual monster Montfilonka, individual, great if you want to smell like dry sheets. Great if you don't want to spend the money on Cree Santal, which is, you could get this for a third of what the price is for that. Those are my two recommendations if you want to pick up something like this. And it's great, well, and it's great all around so it's not one season type of thing it's it's versatile it's very versatile the performance is okay nothing to brag about but if you want to smell like you do your laundry like i said in my last video this is a good pickup and it's hella cheap so so number one number one goes to none other than and it kind of still fits me but uh it goes to none other than Abikami Fitch. Abikami Fitch is more Fitch. Fierce. No, wait, hold up. Uh Abikami Fierce. I'm confused of the words and the and you know I don't care. It's a very, like get from this, it's very woodsy and very fresh fragrance. This absolutely speaks out saying that I want attention. This, this is like sexy, attention grabbing type of fragrance. This is what this is. I literally. Honestly, this is honestly my third bottle. Yeah, um, the first one I bought for myself, the second one, my sister was an employee for them, so she got me the biggest one, the biggest size bottle, which I can't find anymore. But um, went back to this one, it's like, it's, it's a smell that, even though it's a uh, teenager type of vibe that is that supposedly it was teenager vibe, but it's I seen a man uh, with this on. It still look, it's still, it's still great. So I don't think that it's, if you can pull it off, then you can pull it off. It's I don't think there's a age that goes with this. Even though I I, I hear it most of the time, it's more teenagers. Yes, it's more. It's, it de it definitely has a teenage vibe in it, like a youth vibe. But I mean, if you can rock it, be a weight on you. Do you have the potential to actually wear it and get weighted? Then go more power to you. But this is an absolutely great fragrance. I know it's been reformulated. I heard about it, but it's still great. One of one of the top one of the top fresh fragrances that will that it will lead people toward you that's why I describe it so there you go that's my top five I was gonna say ten. Oh my god thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for your attention and your obedience thank you Bye. Deuces.